It's Saturday, September 16, 2023. I'm here at Fairplex in Pomona, waiting to get into the trucking area at the Grand National Truck Show. This is the first time they're putting on this event. This is the same people that put on the Grand National Roadster Show, of course. Uh, so this is the first ever one of these events. So I don't exactly know how it's gonna go. I know they do have the halls full of amazing show vehicles. We're gonna be checking that out. Uh, we're gonna be checking out the stuff that's outside in the truck in. Uh, so let's go have a look. in the second line, so... See, we still have a lot of vehicles set to go in. There's my 83 Dodge van. It's been in uh, various videos. I even brought it here for the cruise in at Grand National Roadster Show back in February. So just trucks and vans going all the way back waiting to get in here. So the van is parked right next to a nice uh, tree stump. Get some more of the trucks rolling in. So like I said, this show is basically anything with a bed or a cargo area is what they're considering a truck. So vans and trucks. <laughs> guessing like El Caminos and Rancheros are okay. So one guy with a uh, Chevy SSR, which is sort of a pseudo truck, I suppose. So next week, I believe I'm going to be doing the Wave Quest Woody Meet on Saturday. I don't, I haven't set that one in stone yet. Uh, on the Sunday, we have a, there's a indoor custom show at Ventura. I think it's mostly lowriders. Still trying to hit that one. Tomorrow I don't have anything yet. I'm supposed to take my daughter somewhere, but now she wants to go in the afternoon, so I might try to get something shot tomorrow morning if that is the case. And coming up in a couple weeks, I still really have no shows for the end of the month. Because I'm not doing Tucson. And I have to drop my daughter off somewhere that Saturday at two o'clock, so for a birthday party, so. If I shoot anything that weekend, it's got to be like first thing in the morning, get it in, get it done, and get back. So I got some interesting stuff. Uh, October's looking a lot better. We've got, we're back here for the In and Out show. Of course, we got Pomona Swap Meet. And at the end of the month, on Halloween, we have SEMA. So lots of great videos. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. I think most of the trucking vehicles have rolled in already there might be some few people still rolling in and the hall I believe is going to open at nine so as soon as that hits I'm going to go right in there and start filming I guess there's only a couple halls it's not as big as the Grand National Roadster show which of course fills up all of the uh, fairground halls here at Fairplex and we'll announce we did finally hit 19,000 subscribers. It's been very slow. YouTube is not promoting my videos as much. So if you have a friend or know somebody who might be interested in this type of video, please recommend it to them because uh, YouTube lately has basically been just showing my videos to people who have already watched my channel and not to new people. So which, which does help the channel to get in front of new people who want to watch vintage car shows and truck shows. That's one way to get your uh, Tri-5 car into a truck show. Put it on the back of your vintage car hauler. So 
we got bits of a 57, a 56, and a 55 on this one. So it's got a, it's a 56 with a 55 front sheet metal and a 57 trim on the side. A 69 Chevy G-Series van. This one's a shorty. Shorty window van. Got uh, four on the tree. There you go. Uh, Chevy square body dually. So it's got a LS, it looks like. There's going to be a lot of square bodies at this show. C10 short bed. So if anyone uh, has any ideas for a good car show I can hit that I can knock out in the morning and get back to Pasadena by one o'clock on the last Saturday this month, hey, let me know. <laughs> I'm sure I'll find something. Or I'll do a video on the uh, cutlass I picked up for my daughter. She wants thing. I just had the pleasure of doing the fuel pump on it, which you have to remove the air conditioning uh, compressor to get to. So it was a massive bracket. This 55 Chevy pickup with a six with period speed parts. I guess I'll show my 83 Dodge B150 van. There's actually a full video of this van on the channel if you go back far enough in the uh, project car tab. Nice OBS GMC pickup. Also the uh, Dodge van I used on the Lemons Rally back in 2018. So, took a lot of abuse on that. <laughs> Check the uh, tentative list for future events I'm planning on hitting, which will be in the comments section 
pinned to the top shortly after the video posts. Yeah. The one that was in a magazine, this uh, 56 F100. Yeah. Yeah. Come over on this side. Yeah. I didn't know he was coming because I had all kinds of litter in my ear. <laughs> A very clean K5 blazer. So some of these outside uh, trucks like this one and the last one we saw, some of these are definitely clean enough to be on the inside displays. Of course, my van still has the original paint from when it was converted, <laughs> so it's a little bit worn over many years. Alright, so they uh, just opened the halls up. This OBS. Anytime I film a show, I always try to get the inside stuff as early as possible since this usually fills in. This uh, 34 Ford pickup is one of the contenders for America's most beautiful truck. all the trucks in this area are. another contender for America's most beautiful truck, the Chevy Cameo. So 1970 El Camino. Yes, it is a truck. It's going to get you a better look at the interior. Got a uh, single overhead cam 427 in this Ford F100. There's the award for America's most beautiful truck. Oh, they're calling it World's Most Beautiful Truck, I'm sorry. Okay. So 
another one of the uh, contenders. Interesting to see how the show grows over the years. Have this uh, 32 Ford Roadster pickup. Of course, for the uh, Roadster show this year, they had a whole uh, haul of trucks, I guess, to kind of promote this show. It's a Ford Ranger. It's one of the contenders. Expect to see a lot of mini trucks here. I don't know if that's an it's like an Edsel girl in the middle of the dash there. Got the horse collar shape. Show you uh, molded in like the older style Ford tailgate letters. Picture of the uh, uh, this, uh, Chevy S10 Lowrider Mini. I do realize the Lowrider Super Show Vegas is at the end of the month. I can't, there's no way for me to do that. And like I said, I have an obligation with my daughter that weekend. I know someone's going to mention that. This is also one of the uh, contenders for America's Most Beautiful Truck. Lots of uh, work went into this one. A lot of engraving. Hemi powered 35 international pickup. C10. They we're still continuing with the uh, contenders here.
one's called the Silver Ghost. He's got custom wheel stands that say as such. Chevy Silverado. This one's called Ron's Dream. This one's called the Wood Arado. It has the uh, faux wood airbrushed on the sides. It's a world's most beautiful truck contender. There's a 48 Diamond T. This one has so much detail. cab there. Uh, 1957 Chevy pickup. Uh, 32 Ford Roadster pickup.
Ford F100. So a 40 pickup. Another Ford Unibody. Style side. Shot all the contenders for the big award. Bring the rest of it. Don't forget, we still have a lot of stuff to shoot outside. pickup the Volkswagen double cab transporter it's actually a Volkswagen show tomorrow as well I might if all works out I may try to go down and hit that in the morning we shall see C10 Cheyenne short bed. It's kind of need a long bed. I often see. Uh, Long bed's done up to this level. There's a seat 20, so three quarter ton. Gasser pickup. Uh, 
S210 square body with a uh, vintage BMX bike. It's got an El Camino here. Here's a Ranchero. C10 pickup, tuned, lowered. The Super Sports El Camino. That was a 69 model, four speed. Seen this one before, this K5. This guy's a regular at local uh, shows. The nice thing about these you know, Grand National Roadster show, and now we have Grand National Truck Show, you see a lot of your local, really nice cars that are local, and you see a lot of cars from literally all over the world. Of course, all over the country as well, and even Canada. Dodge pickup. And of course, a lot of these do wind up showing up at uh, SEMA. And some of the, you know, some of those shows as well. Very nice. This is a GMC. Yeah, this one's been taken down to bare metal and clear coated. Got the uh, woodwork on the uh, bed inlays. Duramax with an Allison transmission. Check out the uh, custom badge there. And this big Chevy. That's what they uh, started with. I think it was like an old farm truck. So we can actually get you a nice shot of the interior since there's no ropes around it. This uh, Chevy C10 with the old style topper on the back there. I see these guys who buy these trucks and they're selling those toppers. I think they look pretty cool with those old style campers on them. See, they raise the floor. Did something this morning I haven't done in a while. I posted a short. I posted a short of uh, one of the F100 groups coming in, or at least getting in line. I'm not really a fan of vertical video, so I don't do those very often. But uh, I was lately standing in line and said that would be a good opportunity to just shoot one and post it. Four 
all-wheel drive Chevy. Alright, so I managed to get halfway through here without uh, music and then they turned it on. A vintage semi. Hey, it's a truck. A nice OBS. Dooley. Uh, 72 Chevy El Camino. This Ford bump side with a blower. Get cab over. C10 pickup. He's like the other one outside. Yeah. You see this cab over at various shows in Southern California. It's a 1960 Ford Ranchero pickup.
I'll show you these internationals. This is the old Anvil Speed Shop booth. A couple of cars they're working on. Or trucks. And they're both internationals, so that's kind of cool. Something a bit different. Obviously much harder to build one of these due to parts availability over say like a comparable Ford or Chevy. Even Dodge is kind of hard to build from that era due to parts availability. This one's a very well patinaed gasser. That is just a really cool truck right there. It's like an old show truck that now has patina on it. Now we're getting into the mini trucks. Yeah, this beautiful 59. El Camino. This is a Ford Courier Custom that was done back in the 70s. Cab over. This one's a Ford. Very clean Ford F100 Explorer bump side. Got the uh, tow mirrors. Uh, 58 Suburban with the uh, Mopar handles there. Ford Super Cab Dent Side. We've seen this one before. This one was actually involved, I believe, in the Paradise Fire and then uh, rebuilt, as you see. And this one's actually been to SEMA. It's a Mitsubishi Mini Truck. This one's a 88 model. Custom crew cab.
Mama. Yeah, they have let the general public in, so it might be getting a little more crowded in here. Suburban. Can't miss uh, the K5. That color. Custom blazer. S10 style. This started out as a 92 Chevy Blazer. You see there's not much that has not been customized on this one. the van section those Dodge Street van so we got keystones so the uh, stained glass in there there's a boogie van called boogie van of course we've seen this on various van events and car shows in Southern California.
the octopus's garden van. The penny arcade van. Now we're into the second hall. Check out this Y block powered 41 Ford pickup. Have another mini 
truck. Studebaker pickup. A Chevy pickup. I think the music's low enough now I can start getting full clips of the vehicles now. Actually got a cornhole tournament going on on the uh, east side of this hall. So now bring you some of the uh, cornhole action over there. So they got a little bit of something for everyone at the Grand National Truck Show. There's also a van event coming up at the end of the month as well, maybe in Anaheim. So I might try to hit that and film the show and then get back to Pasadena in time to take my dog. <laughs> That's the BYOB camp out. I've actually filmed that one a couple times in the past. Lots of patina on this C10. that's early Hemi powered. A 37 Dodge pickup, the Flathead 6. El Camino. The Ford F Series that was on the Ride of Your Life with Courtney Hansen on uh, Motorcon. This truck was also at SEMA last year, so I did film it there. And I'll be filming SEMA again this year. Vintage cell phone there. Back when they were car phones. For those who remember that. So I should mention I've been actually a walk. Not only do I walk a lot doing these car shows, but I've been walking a lot during the week as well. And I'm basically calling it training for uh, the SEMA show. Yes. 
but I don't really mention it much, much but uh, a couple years ago I did mess up my foot while filming SEMA. And unfortunately I was able to heal up and film a lot of these great shows for you guys after the fact. I have a rare one, a Powell pickup truck. Be weird, hold a Powell. It's been customized. Fishing pole holder. Yeah, so you got a place to put your fishing pole. Dodge Warlock pickup. What's going on on this Mini? Very clean El Camino, sitting on Keystones. Powered C10. The uh, spoiler there on the uh, tailgate. Nice <laughs> 59 El Camino with the glitter. Check out the bed. Glitter all on the bed there. Beautifully restored uh, Chevy pickup with the six in it. And you know, the uh, picnic equipment. They're getting ready for the uh, cornhole tournament. Something unique for a car show. This Ford Dent side. F100. Got the uh, Red Baron theme. Show the uh, bullet holes. All right, we've seen a few uh, Blazers. How about a Dodge Ram Charger? Very well the uh, patinaed 70s paint job on this one. And a 72 fish mouth Ranchero GT. Oh, it was many years ago, but I didn't have the GT, I just had a 72 Ranch Hero in brown. Cool Model A pickup. 
That's one way to drown out the music. <laughs> to scare half the people in the hall. Got a really clean 454 SS pickup. And this one is extremely clean. So we have concluded the indoor portion of the show. So uh, now we're gonna bring you the rest of the outside. This one actually showed up a little later. I did shoot this section earlier, but this was not here. So we'll bring you, there's a lot of stuff to see outside. I've got a lot more stuff filled in uh, since, since I was inside filming. Throwback to the 90s. Custom OBS pickup. For sale for 45,000. Remember the uh, swap meet rules do apply. 8,000 miles. So it'll cost 125,000 to build, I believe it. So it's, it's, let's see if we can get the uh, Boyd's billet wheels. Show up at uh, Radwood and Sell the truck. Yeah. Sell. This guy's gonna buy it right here. There you go. He likes it. Yeah. If you look good in there, sir. Featured in a magazine. You just take it home. Uh, it, might, it might sell in the video. You don't know. Are you post it? Yeah, yeah. Goes oh, on you. Goes on YouTube. On you, oh really? Under what? What handle? Uh, Mike Frankovich. Oh wow. Yeah. It's OBS. I think they have, they have the NHRA Motorsports Museum here if you ever come to an event at the fairgrounds or even the LA County Fair. And it's a great museum. Ten dollar, it's extra ten dollar charge to go in there. You got a lot of great historic uh, drag race cars and other vehicles. Read the sign said uh, ten dollars to get in and uh, twelve and under is free with a paying adult. So my daughter's actually at the age I cannot get her into free to stuff anymore. Turns 14 on Friday, so. She's getting, definitely growing up. I'm gonna try to get her to go to the uh, Volkswagen show tomorrow. You will see. For sale, I can't see this one's 24,000. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to blow that up on a uh, video screen. Our very clean original OBS. I always like these because when I was in the Navy, that's when these were new. So a lot of guys I was in the Navy with had trucks just like this that they bought brand new. And so there you can see the backgrounds of the NHRA Motorsports Museum. 
It's got a supercharger on it, so it's 37,500. Oh, there's the phone number right there. Getting ready for the Pomona swap meet next month. Yeah. I'll be over on this side. This is Pickups Unlimited Orange County Club. All oh, those guys came in together and parked together. So they actually have the cruise, uh, the truck in tomorrow, but I, I just assumed Saturday would be the bigger of the two days, which it usually is for a Grand National Roadster show. And that's a uh, Lincoln hood ornament for some reason. pick up the pace on this video. We're going to try to save the kids winter from reality, you know, because it's sad because they're good kids. Have a neat F100. Not sure if this one is. Uh, I don't think this one's Vic swapped. That's where they. Uh, I don't believe it is. See a lot of these now where they take an old Crown Victoria or an other Panther platform vehicle and body swap them. OBS at a good guy's meet. Oh, look at this one. Some patina uh, C tens here. This thing is clean. This one is for sale. Now we're on a price. Mm -hmm. 
57 Ford pickup. But I was going to have to check down. How are you? Hi. This Model T. Yeah. Now this uh, LS swapped Suburban. This one's very clean. It's a 56 model. A good look. And that body's actually off of a Model T truck, which oh. the setup came down and hit on the 41 Ford pickup. I think I'm gonna drive that thing like that. So I took a put a Mustang too for a out to Pomona. She had a Chevy SSR, sort of a pickup truck, I guess. It's uh, sort of designed after a pickup truck. I believe they get registered commercial too for some oddball reason. It's like uh, towing his chassis around. I'm guessing he's with one of the vendors. Got this Ford steak bed F-250. Looks like it's straight from the farm. Here we got this uh, Madman Months Chevy panel. It's got a for sale sign, but no actual info on it. With the uh, Month stereo logo on the side. Okay, so we got the uh, matching plate frame. Patina, the GMC COE. Yeah, I'm just, uh... Hey, Mike. This is one smooth Chevy truck here. Come here, not eat. There you look. Another very nice traditional Chevy truck here. Check out the uh, Naga hide there. Got the sweet van. Project Fire. That legit was saved from a fire. Yeah. Why don't you go over there and see what time they're going to do? I like it. There's a lot going on with this one. We actually saw this last week at Cruising for a Cure as well. That was actually a great video last week. You haven't watched it yet. I'd say that was probably one of the most textbook shoots I've done. I guess 
at a car show. I, 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 is the best way I could describe it. It just went really well. It's a very nice original F100. Check out the uh, 6. I don't know how else to describe that show last week other than, it, like I said, it very, went very well. A lot of great vehicles. That was a lot of fun because they get they cruise around the fairgrounds, all the shows going on. I actually took it easy filming that, knowing I had to shoot Long Beach Swap Meet the next morning. So I don't know what any progress I am my project cars. I did work on the Buick. I did the intake gaskets on the 61 Buick yesterday. Still has a vacuum leak somewhere. That's probably the easiest, one of the easiest vehicles to do an intake on since, I guess, the, since the nail head does not have uh, water going through the intake. So it's actually went pretty easy. But the gaskets have to go on a certain way and you have to kind of look up how to do it. And if you've never worked on a nail head, you know, if you worked on a nail head, you know what I'm talking about. If not, like, uh, there's these little corners of the gasket that have to point a certain way and you put it back together or you will get an air leak. And actually one of the ones that was on there previously was installed upside down. So I did find that. So I am making a little progress on that one. This uh, truck definitely has a theme going on. You look, wow, check out the 8 track. Freddy Fender. Flames on this one. So plenty more beautiful trucks and vans to see here. So I may still try to shoot the van show. I gotta figure out if I can make it back in time. Like I said, uh, my daughter really takes priority, as you can imagine. That's only, that's in a few weeks anyway, so I've got a few weeks to figure everything out there. Yeah, we seem to find something to film. Might be the Cutlass. I might do a video on the Cutlass if it's far enough along. 
I just got a lot of parts in for it. Interesting fact, you cannot get a uh, water pump for a 350 Olds motor with air conditioning. <laughs> like, nobody stocks it. You gotta send yours off to get rebuilt. So that was kind of a big surprise to me. One's for sale. There's a number there. Give you a look. International pick of a 1938 and a restored international. And what a nice example it is. Can't imagine there's too many around in this condition. Nice side mount spare. Well, it's Dodge. Got a little something extra going on under the hood there. Broncos yet, have we? If, if one suburban one, at least uh, the truck based ones. Yeah, GMC with that six. The V6. This GMC looks like it's from 94. It was featured in uh, off road. Magazine. I think it's interesting. Look at these. Check that out. Yep, he's got a car phone. It's always interesting these preserved, modified vehicles from back then. truck okay I'm guessing there was a story there the 71 El Camino but is that one fine can we just re fix paint that yeah we can reposter it and yeah. repainted and then we'll why don't we just buy this when we do buy it we'll get it these guys might be working a deal on this truck I think and this Ella swapped C10 
Got the uh, clean original looking interior. Yeah, this uh, CB 750 chopper. Got a international metro step van. So the Amsoy wheel brought out this first gen Ford Econoline pickup. Yeah, what's going on here? Look at the paint scheme on this uh, F100, very 70s. There, 454 SS. This one's slightly modified. It's like this OBS won an award. Uh, it's a C10 with faux wood. What could be more 70s than that?
couple Fords, including we finally found a Bronco. So, had to go to the vendors to find that. So it's like they're still working on it, this uh, F100. We have this Bronco. Well, we found a Bronco. Couple C tens. It's going to wrap things up here at the Fairplex in Pomona, California for the first ever Grand National Truck Show. Of course, we've been hitting uh, Grand National Roadster Show. I've been going to the Grand National Roadster Show for years. I even went when year was up in Oakland. Uh, we've, I've have filmed it three times for the channel in the past, and this is the first ever uh, Grand National Truck Show. So as you saw, there are a lot of beautiful vehicles here, a lot of nice trucks and vans. Let me know what your favorite one was. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to like the video. Check my tentative list, which will be in the comments section pinned to the top shortly after the video posts, uh, so you know what plan events I'm planning on hitting in the future. And until next time, I'll be seeing you.